today we need to get into Jungkook's brother apparently posting about Jungkook and what's going on with that. We also have shocking videos and news reports about OnlyFans and a K-pop idol posting on there. And then we have Hype allegedly deleting stuff, falsifying things, and what that is about. So you don't mean this David Desai hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fan going on Patreon with some free content on Saturdays now and let's go. So there's been a lot of interesting stuff happening with the label and quite frankly it's pretty crazy what's going on. I don't know if a lot of the craziness and the controversy and the accusations are actually true or not or if they're misleading articles or whatever it is because now I am seeing that apparently BTS label HYBE is being investigated by the FTC. Now this is alleged. I don't think there's any actual evidence right now that this is actually happening. However, there is articles saying that this is happening right now. The, basically, the premise of these claims is stating that the label apparently failed to disclose whether or not the family members of the higher-ups in the label were involved with the label, as well as falsifying records and doing a lot of stuff that would then be considered illegal. So, for example, if the executives were funneling money to a family member's business, so for example, like giving millions of dollars to charity and that charity happens to be a family member's charity business. So, or specifically, if the office needed repairs or whatever it is, to only call on the family members so that the company money then goes back into the executive's pockets or into the family. So these are examples of what could be a dangerous situation if a label or any company doesn't disclose whether or not there are executive families that are involved within the label. And specifically, this is going back to Bank PD, which I think is really interesting because this is clearly believed to be illegal. And I think that's very obvious that this would be illegal. And someone like Bank PD would probably be aware of something like this. And so I just highly doubt that he would engage in something like this, knowing that he could get into a lot of trouble. I don't see Bang as the type of person who would like to hoard a bunch of money and articles and accusations and investigations like this are so easy to report on and go viral because these things are believed by the community. They believe Bang is super money hungry when in reality he has never been the type of person and has always been someone with integrity. I believe he knows and as well as everyone else in the label knows that he has more than enough money to live the rest of his life and be okay. And that he doesn't actually need more money. Of course, this is a reason why the FTC is now investigating the company. However, just to keep in mind that it's an investigation and there is currently really no evidence that has been found businesses and higher up executives like what Bang does, they are very much aware that they don't need the money themselves, but they are taking the money because one, it makes the company look good, that they're paying their CEO a lot of money, makes the company look like they're making a lot of money, and that's ultimately good for shareholders and that sort of stuff. And then ultimately they know that their responsibility legally is that they have to do things to benefit shareholders. This is a legal thing that any company takes on when they become a public company, when they're a company that is in the stock market. So yeah, they do all of the things that benefit the shareholders because the shareholders want money. But the actual people in the label or the executives or whatever, they themselves know that they don't actually need the money. So for things like this, where they know that they can get in trouble if they didn't disclose, would be something I highly doubt they do. There's tons of shocking news every day and I'm always very curious to see what other things would come out. And we recently had a story that I think kind of broke the internet or at least made a lot of front pages. Jay Park was originally announced to be putting out an OnlyFans account. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, we need to talk about it. This is an adult content type of website. So things like sex or whatever is usually going to be posted onto the platform. Now the platform itself and the executives of the platform have to come out and say that really any type of content can be posted. So for example, a platform like Patreon where people specifically just fans can come and sign up and get introduced to this only for the fans type of content. And I think that's the premise of OnlyFans website and what it was supposed to be. However, then it evolved into something where there's just adult content. And so Jay Park is now releasing a new song and decided to put out, I guess, some of the teaser content on OnlyFans. It's a really great way to drop some publicity for the launch as now everyone's going to be talking about the OnlyFans. So many news sites are gonna be reporting about it and then they go and click on the OnlyFans to potentially even sign up if they're interested or just to see if it's even real. They're gonna see some stuff about the album or the music and if they do choose to sign up, I can almost guarantee that the content is probably going to be teasers for the song or the album. And in my opinion, it's actually a very creative way to promote music because it's a publicity stunt that is naturally going to go viral as I think it's going to be shocking even in America for an artist to join OnlyFans and then to see a K-pop star join OnlyFans is quite shocking because we don't even see this idea of dating being talked about openly, let alone this idea of 
adult content and sex. And it was reported on several headlines that he might have been actually the first K-pop idol to even launch something like this, or even associate with a platform that is made for adult content and promote it. And I'm probably pretty sure that he is one of the only K-pop idols to do this, unless maybe some underground or some really smaller named K-pop idols have attempted to do this. I don't know. But you need to understand that this is something that needs to be done. Typically, you don't see the BTS members kind of engage in these types of publicity stunts because their album and concept photos are naturally going to go viral anyway. They really don't have to do anything as controversial as OnlyFans because they know that if they just take a shirtless picture, it would probably go viral. And since the community has missed BTS so much, they really only have to do something as simple as making an appearance on Instagram and they suddenly get a bunch of publicity. And a lot of the labels will even tell the artists that they can't release a song or an album before there's a lot of hype for that song or album. So they want to make sure that before everything drops, there's a lot of people that even want to hear it. So this is exactly why artists participate in publicity stunts. Because if they don't, and if they don't have a viral moment, they're not going to be able to put out their music. And it's not really as simple as them just not being able to put out their music, but if they're not able to work, then they can't make money. Now just going back to just hearing one of the BTS members' voices can still go viral. This actually happened recently as JK was seen on his brother's Instagram story. So what happened, and this is all presumed because all of this was posted on his story. There was no context given, but we can assume what happened was that Jungkook's brother was playing a game with JK either online or in person, probably online, and they were having fun and giggling. The community caught very quickly that this was JK's giggle. The game they were playing is called Catch Mind, and it's a very similar game to draw something. It's like a similar Pictionary or charades type of game where you draw something and then the opposing person or whoever you're playing with has to guess what it is that you drew. So there was a conversation going on with JK and his brother and they were giggling. JK initially said something about a dog. JK then drew a bunch of clouds and the brother asked why a bunch of clouds were being added to the picture. And JK then said that this was all part of the hint. And of course they were giggling, they were having fun. There was a lot of controversy going on with this such as how do people know about this clip? Why were they following his brother? And this is a, and is this a private clip? But this was posted publicly on a public account. The brother has, I think, over a million followers, so this is not a private account by any means. People also definitely tend to forget that it's easy to hide a page and for it, for it not to be found. Any person could just make a page and name themselves Cardboard, and no one will know that it's JK's family or any of the other BTS members. Now what this actually ended up giving away or telling people was that JK and his family are very close. And I think people really like to see the relationship between him and his brother. And they really like seeing them together and having fun. And it's also very cool to see that since this was a break that he had in the military, that he was then using that break to connect with his brother and have fun times with his brother. Because a lot of people might choose to take that time either to be by themselves or to not connect with anyone. It also shows how close he is with his family because there's definitely a lot of people who would not be close enough with their family to want to connect with them on their time off. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.